Okay, it's your boy DJ Bishop. I'm going to give you a part two review of the Ouya. Um, let me see, as soon as this thing boot up, this is going to be part two of the Ouya. And right now it's not booting up. Okay, here we go. Let me see here. A second here. Alright, so it boots up like that. It just pretty much cut on. Let me get my controller lit up. Now, uh, this thing does work with um, PlayStation 1 controller. Um, basically, what you got to do with the PlayStation 1 controller. Hold on, you're not getting the whole video. Let me zoom out a little bit. Okay, we'll do it like that. Alright, you got it all. Okay, it does work with a PlayStation 1 controller. Um, and how that works is you just plug up the uh, USB plug to the uh, OUYA and while it's powered on and then you, un you, you power it down, unplug the uh, PlayStation controller and then it'll work. I mean, it's a pretty simple thing. Um, I I'll do a video on that later. But I just want to kind of talk about this thing. Uh, let me sleuth this over. I'm trying to get it with my cell phone. Um, this thing took, basically I got this thing Christmas Day. And um, I kind of show you the unboxing. So now I'm just going to talk about this, the real review. Um, I like it and I don't like it. Um, from what I watched a lot of YouTube videos and it was telling me about um, how you can um, uh, watch a lot of movies and all this other stuff. That was a pain in the butt getting all the movies going. Uh, it's a pain in the butt. It took me pretty much all day. I got up and because um, I kind of bought this thing for my wife because she wanted to play, you know, video games on the TV. So um, I said, okay, fine. I found this thing and got it, this thing going. So um, <laughs> it took me from probably 12 noon to 9 o'clock and I'm still tinkering with it. Um, Cause basically, what you got to do first is, uh, I had bought this thing called a Ouya key, and it looks like a little key, but it was a USB deal. You stick it in there, and then it'll give you, uh, it'll give you stuff like, uh, let's go to play. Um, it gives you. I got this file called the uh, this XBMC deal here, and what that does is, uh, I'll go and show you what it does. Um, when you click on that. You go into this thing here, and it shows you, um, hold on a second here. This is where you get all your videos and um, movies and stuff like that. Um, so you go to add-ons, and then you get all these channels right here. Now, they say you can watch live TV. I have yet to get that to work, um, which I don't need it anyway. I got cable, but they say you can watch live TV. Um, yeah, I haven't been able to get that to work, but you have all these channels, like a lot of stuff that you can get on YouTube. Um, it kind of compiles it for you so you can watch it. This ice film thing is pretty good. You get a lot of movies on that. I mean, it's just kind of like if you if you know how to stream movies like on um, solar TV and um, uh, what's that other one? Movie 4K or movie 5K and all that kind of stuff. Um, this is kind of what this deal is, um, but it's just kind of streamline it streamline it so you can kind of watch it and not um, have to uh, look all over the web for it it's kind of all right here for you um, some of these they have a lot of TV shows and the TV shows are kind of they're not live but like this was on yesterday caught on caught on camera with Nick Cannon and all you do is click on it and then it'll load it up and you just watch it um, if you want to see it let's go ahead and get it going so you can kind of see what it looks like so I'm going to show you the caught on can, uh, camera with Nick Canyon. Um, show you this real quick here. See, it's, it takes a while. I, w I was running this thing on Wi-Fi, but it seemed like it would always buffer. So I took it off Wi-Fi and put it on um, the regular network. Uh, and uh, put it in the, the, uh, the Ethernet cable through the back. And um, that seems to work out. Um, you know, that seems to work out for me. So... But it still takes a while. Some stuff takes a while. Some stuff don't. Um, so, I mean, it still take. I mean, you you seeing this live? How long this thing takes? It takes a while. 
but uh, you know stuff like this I don't really watch movies seem to work faster but these TV shows for whatever reason it takes a while to get these things cranked up so I mean, if you like waiting you, if you don't like waiting and you're impatient like me you probably wouldn't even watch this stuff um, but we'll see I just want to see if this works so yeah it works this is what was on yesterday um, it's still buffering which is weird um, see I don't know what all this stuff uh, let's see here I don't know what all that stuff means see it's buffering um, 14% I should have said no, yes to it or no um, man this takes forever this is killing my video time but I'm gonna let you see it live so you can see what happened. But yeah, this is it right here. Um, but I don't want. I'm a. I'm not gonna watch it because you know I don't want YouTube to ban me. So let's go back and look at some other stuff. Um, so basically that's it. You know you got that, and then you can go to uh, another one. This X Strength NX uh, Navi X is pretty good. It has a nice little uh, deal here way it's set up. So you can go here to this Navi X portal, and um, hold on, takes a while, takes a while, takes a while. So it's like I like I said, it's still slow. Um, hold on a second, what is this thing doing? Uh, let's see here. We don't want to go there. We go here. So this show you the last stuff that was viewed in 24 hours. So it's kind of a up to date of uh, stuff that was on the internet, I guess. Um, so this is all the movies, um, DVD release, underground stuff, some um, porno stuff. Uh, I mean, you got all kind of stuff going on here. Live stream, None of this, the live stream stuff don't work. I've yet to get that stuff to work. But if you want to watch movies, you know, it got all the movies. Uh, any kind of movies you want to watch. Um, let's go here and look at 20, 20, 2014 movies. Um, it's kind of, I mean, if you got like Netflix, this is kind of nice. Like kind of Netflix, you got pretty much more than what Netflix has to offer because they got everything. Um, it just takes a while. All the screener movies. Uh, I don't know what this is. Band movies. It's like some B horror movies, kind of stupid stuff, um, you know, the interview, Dumb and Dumber, I mean, they just got all these different movies that's at the theater, and then they got a bunch of other movies too, and they, I, I like how they got the little artwork and stuff, and any of these movies pretty much work, so, um, you know, I don't know, uh, you can click on it, it do work, I, I don't want to do it, because it's going to take up a lot of time, take up a couple minutes just to boot up, but it does work, trust me, it works, um, so I'm going to get out of this thing here, exit out of this, and kind of show you the main reason I got this thing, but it, but it got a lot of stuff on here. I mean, you can go through here, PBS, I was watching a lot of Motor Trend, which I tried to get on my cable. My cable was supposed to record Motor Trends, but it's not recording any new episodes, so um, I don't understand that, why I didn't record that. But I was watching Motor Trend last night, a bunch of episodes, like new episodes, um, it pretty much got them all. Um, this thing here, Vito. This a lot of this stuff is for movies. Shows a bunch of movies and stuff like that. Um, so if you like movies, um, it's all there. So let's get out of this. I don't want to talk about movies, because I mean, if if you know about movies, this thing will uh pretty much show all movies for you, like stuff you watch on internet. I mean, you can find any of these movies on the internet. It just it just compiles all the videos for you so you don't have to search around for them. So um, let's get out of this real quick here. Uh, so the cool thing about it, what I really bought this thing for is these emulators. Um, I went, I had to load all these emulators on here. Super Nintendo, NES, Neo Geo. Neo Geo still doesn't work. I have not been able to get Neo Geo to work. N64 works, but it's kind of kind of buggy some of the games kind of get some weird pixelations but you got Grand Game Boy Advance I haven't played any games on that yet uh, this is uh, Sega Genesis uh, that works uh, you got Dreamcast I don't have any games for that yet this is um, what is this PCM 
Uh, I don't remember what this is. This is a uh, Turbo Graphics 16. That works. Um, uh, Atari 2600. That works. And then this is all the stuff that you get on the. Uh, oh yeah, this is just different games. I haven't went to that. This is Ma'am. Uh, this is like a lot of arcade stuff. A lot of the games I got ROMs work, but a lot of them don't work. So you're like, what do you get with it? Okay, you get mainly I bought this for emulator to play like old Nintendo games, and I don't want to play them on a the computer. I want to play them on a the TV with the controller. Get a controller. So um, this thing has a lot of stuff. You know, you could download a bunch of this stuff. I haven't went on here and download. This is all the stuff that comes on the system. Um, you know, all this stuff like this. Just a bunch of little video games, YouTube, Pandora, Vimeo, all that different stuff there. Um, just it just got tons of stuff. I mean, I haven't even had time to jump into all that stuff yet. But what I want to show you is I got this thing here, uh, Nostalgia. This is pretty nice, and the reason why it's nice because it kind of puts all your video games in one little uh, video here. I mean, that one little area, so I don't have to go to each one of those deals. Um, basically what it does is, is uh, let me show you. So this is the Nintendo. It gives me all the artwork. This is pretty cool. All the artwork. Um, this is all of it. So Bayon Billy, that was one of my favorite games when I was a kid playing. So uh, I already was playing it. So uh, I should reset it. Hold on. Let me reset that because I want you to see how it looks when it comes on. Um, the video game thing is pretty fast. It doesn't take a while. I mean, this thing takes a while to load because it's loading all these things. Now, this thing took a while to load, so you have to go to each one of your emulators and load all the ROMs. Each system that I set up took about uh, maybe, I want to say, uh, it took at least, man, where's my sound at? It took probably at least, uh, 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 15 to 20 minutes per each for this ROMs to work. So let me play this uh, so you can see what it looked like. Uh, the Adventures of Bayou Billy. Oh man. Yeah. Okay. We want to get past all this stuff. So this is it. So I mean it works. So I want to get out of that. Let's go through some of the other games here. Just show you. I mean I got a massive amount of games. So if you're an old Nintendo head, uh, <laughs> they got a lot of stuff on here that you know. I mean Ten Yard Fight. Uh, I mean just look at all this stuff. Afterburner. Arrow. You know it's it just it's crazy amount of stuff on here. Track and Field. You know. Uh, bad dudes. I know you guys remember that stuff. I mean, just loads and loads and loads of them. I mean, I got so many games on here. It's crazy. Uh, California Dreams. I used to hate that game. I was playing Burger Time last night. That was pretty fun. So then I can go to uh, Super Nintendo. It's going to load them up. Here's all the Super Nintendo games. Some of them got artwork. Some of them don't. Um, Super Nintendo looks really good. Uh, let me see a game that I used to like on Super Nintendo. Uh, let's see here. What is this game here? Choplifter. Uh, yeah, I didn't play Choplifter 3. I played Choplifter 1. Oh, man, what did I used to play on this game? I'm trying to find something that looks good. Uh, uh, give me a second here. I'm burning up time. I didn't want to burn up a lot of time. Uh, give me a second. I bet I know you guys screaming at the screen right now. I just don't know a whole lot of Super Nintendo, Illusion of Gaia, that was a good game. Um, let's see here, give me a second here, uh, give me a second here, I'm just going through them. Killer Instinct, nah, I don't want to play that, uh, let me see here, I'm just burning up my time, I don't know how much time I got on this thing, I may have to re-edit this video, uh, but anyway, I'm going to get out of that. So you got Nintendo 64. They got all the graphics there, um, all the games there, uh, Genesis, let's see, we got all the games here, wow, I ain't never seen that before, they got a lot of Japanese games too, Alter Beast, they got all the game cards there, so I can play all these games, all these games is available for me to play, um, let's see what this one is, best of the best, let's play it, 
So, yeah, there it is. So, yeah. It's pretty, it's pretty crappy. But anyway, I mean, you get the point. Uh, let's go back through here. Man, I got 15 minutes in. I don't know how long this video. Video's gonna die pretty soon because I think I got about 20 minutes on my thing. Um, Game Boy Advance. There's all the game boxes for that. You can play all this stuff. Um, what else? Atari. <laughs> Atari 2600. This thing is so crappy when you look at it. When you play, actually play a game, it's so bad. <laughs> but as a kid, you know, this is what we grew up on. This is it here. You know, classics. Um, oh, no, I don't want to exit. Uh, let's go to uh, TurboGrafx-16. Uh, some of the game cartridges here. Uh, I mean, all the games are here. Even the white ones, they play. They just don't have artwork. What the heck is this? Poker. Look like a lady strip. Oh, I don't know. Uh, what's this? Uh, this? I like airplane games. So, yeah, all the stuff is here. Bonkers, Bunks Adventure, you know, all this stuff. Um, you know, I don't know. I got to look into that. Turbo Draft. Neo Geo won't work, so I'm kind of mad, bummed that that don't work. I haven't got Neo Geo to work yet. I got a bunch of ROMs for it, but it don't seem to want to work for me. So, um, let's go down to, uh, yeah, that's it. So, that's all I got right now video games uh, I may get some more systems but uh, but that's what that's it so um, all in all these oh, Louise all in all um, geez, I'll take it out now all in all this is a good system Wow it works pretty good I don't have many issues with it um, as far as uh, playing video games Video games works well. Um, if you want to do something other than play video games, uh, watch movies. Watching movies work good too, but uh, um, I don't know. I'm still on the fence about the movie watching thing. But uh, for video games, it's pretty good. I got to mess around with this thing a little bit more and uh, find some more links. But uh, if you want to watch old TV shows, old movies, it's good for that. Um, porn, if you like porn, you're into that tons of porn on here and that seems to work flawlessly um, <laughs> um i mean i don't really like to watch porn that much but if you do it's on there um you know um uh pbs shows uh motor trend top gear all that kind of stuff is on there um it just takes a while to load those movies so um it cost me a 100 bucks for this system i think it's worth it because you know you get all these old video games and stuff like that uh, me and my wife sat up and played that stuff last night for five hours. Super Mario Brothers won. <laughs> um, yeah, it was like we couldn't even get past the first level. I know we kind of suck, but uh, you could hook up your PS3 controllers to it or Xbox controllers and just kind of have at it. So um, I like it. You know, I just got to play with it more. It takes a lot of time getting it set up. I basically put all my ROMs on. I got like a 64 gig uh, uh, USB stick, put all the ROMs on there. And um, put movies and stuff on there. If I'm going to download any movies, I put all that stuff on there. Because this thing only have 8 gigabytes of memory. So, um, that's it. So, um, oh yeah, I like it. I give it a, I give it a 10 for, as far as uh, playing old video games. You know, if you want to play them on your TV and not on a, a, a laptop or cell phone, you can actually use a controller and kind of reminisce of the old systems. I give it a 10 for that. It works good, especially if you hook it up to your PS3 controller. That seems to work better than the OUYA controller. But uh, I got the newer OUYA controller, so it's not too bad. It's a black one. Um, as far as watching movies, I give it a 5. I'm still on the fence with that live TV. I'm going to give it a 3, a 2, a 0, because I can't even get that working yet. So I think it's just the streams. But all in all, it's a good system for 100 bucks. Go ahead and invest in it. Um, you can't lose on that. But uh, this is DJ Bishop signing out. If you got any questions for me, holler at me. Thanks for watching my video. Bye.